Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World on DT. So, when I last left off, I took London, I need 11 more turns for the city to get out of resistance, which will take a while, unfortunately. So, I'm going to leave one of my great generals in London, just in case. England might decide to try taking their capital back once peace treaty expires. But the peace treaty won't expire for like 14 more turns or something like that. Yeah, it takes 15 turns on epic speed and it started on turn 327. So I have quite a lot of time still, I have 13 more turns. I'm going to move most of my units north because Romans are still plotting against me. So I don't want them to get any silly ideas. And there's no point keeping my entire army down here anyway. Once I finish railroad to London, I will be able to move my army around very very quickly. And I'm about to build railroads to all of my cities. I just finished railroad research. Speaking of research, let's see, I think I'll go straight for plastics now. Because I need some research labs. I need research labs as fast as possible. Alright, so let's continue. I switched production in my capital to the Castle Wonder, obviously. I want to get it. It will take a while, 36 turns. 36 turns is the best I can do. I tried to make it a little bit faster, but the only way I can make it faster is by using caravans to add production in Asur. That's really the only thing... Oh, what? Now he declared war on me, okay. Well, I guess I kind of expected it, but not this fast. And Gandhi declared war on me too! Okay. I didn't expect Gandhi to declare war on me. I mean, he was denouncing me, but he doesn't even have a direct border with me. So that's a bit strange. And it kind of sucks because I still had a few deals with Gandhi. Yeah, look at all these deals. These are all deals with Gandhi, unfortunately. Yeah. And now I'm back in negative happiness, which really, really sucks. Oh well. Oh great, and Romans are going to pillage marble. Well, that's unfortunate. I think it might be time to buy walls in Nimrod. How much is that going to cost? 550 gold. Do I want to buy walls in here? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. I might be able to defend it without walls. I'm not quite sure how many units they got, other than these five that I can already see. I'll wait one more turn, I think. I can always buy walls on the next turn after this. So yeah, I'll wait with that for now. I'm actually almost close enough to start attacking them. I will be able to attack these units on the next turn. So, I might be okay. I guess we'll see. Just need to move them all as close as possible. I'm going to leave one rifleman in London. He needs to heal up anyway, and I want to leave at least one unit in London. Just in case England gets any silly ideas or anything like that. And this war might be good for me if I can defend Nimrod, because most of my Gatling guns, if not all of them, are one promotion away from getting plus one range upgrade. Where's the third one? Both of these have either barrage free or accuracy free. There's the third one. And yeah, this one has accuracy free as well. So I only need one more promotion on all of these Gatling guns to get plus one range. So that would be great. If I could get that from Romans, that would be awesome. And since I'm at war with Romans already, I might as well raise these cities. Oh wow. Okay, he has a lot of units. Hmm, I might need walls in Nimrod after all. I'm not sure about that. I kind of want to save my money, because I'm losing 41 gold per turn. Speaking of which, I have some excess luxuries now, because I had trades with Gandhi. So maybe I can trade that with Elizabeth or with Pachakuti. No, he doesn't want anything, but maybe with Elizabeth. She's actually neutral towards me, which is funny. So, I don't think she's going to pay me 5 gold per turn, no. 4? 3? Even 3 gold per turn is good. Alright then, 3 gold per turn. So that's 6 gold per turn, not the best deal ever for 2 luxuries, but I got no one else to trade with, so... It's better to get 6 gold per turn than 0. Right. Let's continue that railroad. So Nineveh is going to be the next city. Right, I need to plan this well, so... I'll do some damage to the cannon, I think, or I could get rid of the riflemen. Actually, I'll get rid of the riflemen. If I destroy all of the melee units, 
he won't be able to actually capture the city. Although he has a lot of melee units. I just need to hold out for one or two turns until my reinforcements arrive. I can actually attack that rifleman with my artillery. I'll just grab my great general. Set up and attack that rifleman. It sucks that I'm getting 2% combat penalty, but it could have been worse, I guess. He's probably going to pillage the marble though, which means I'll have minus 5 happiness. Which means 10% combat penalty. Oh well, I'll just have to deal with it. Not much else I can do. So, Gatling gun. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I could move here and attack that rifleman. I'm a little bit worried because I don't actually want to lose it. Oh no, if I move here I won't be able to attack? No, I won't be able to attack. I don't really want to just leave it on the planes because then he will take a lot of damage. I could fortify on top of the hill. I don't know about this. Okay, I'm going to fortify on top of the hill. And just continue the railroad. I got few more units here. So this one can move on top of the seed shoes, fortify here. And I'll just keep them all on the road. To be able to move them around as fast as possible. And the artillery. The artillery will have to stay back here, I could swap them. Like so. Alright, that's about the best I can do. So let's see how much damage Nimrod is going to take now. I'm still a bit undecided about the city walls. I really don't want to spend 550 gold right now, but he has a lot of units. Okay, I'm going to take the gamble and not buy the walls. Oh yeah, I need to do something with my spies now. I rigged elections in Kabul, so now I'm allied with it. Are there any city-states I could possibly steal? Yeah, Melbourne. That's a mercantile city-state, I want that. I want Melbourne. Yesterday. Where's Melbourne? There it is. So, anything else? Some of these, Florence, 134, that's a bit too much. 105, 150, 68, Yerevan maybe. Yeah, I guess I could try getting Yerevan. Alright, let's do it. So this turn is done. I'll pass on the city walls and try to defend Nimrod without city walls. Hopefully it's going to work. It does have 52 combat strength. And it's on top of a hill, so it should be okay. Oh, what? He's not actually attacking Nimrod? What is he doing? That was very strange. I'm confused. That's very weird behavior. I totally expected Romans to focus fire Nimrod, but apparently they changed their mind. Hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I saved some money. But this is not quite done yet. I know he has a lot of units. However, this does make it significantly easier. And he didn't even pillage my marble? That's great. Alright, that makes things significantly easier. Remove road. I think that's the last road section I'm going to remove. Oh yeah, and this one too. There's a road here? Yes, there is. Alright then. So, let's do some damage. I want to get rid of these cannons, but they will have to wait a little bit. I can get rid of at least two of these riflemen units. So, fortifying this Gatling gun on top of the hill was a good move. That was a very good move, even. So, let's start by getting rid of this guy. This rifleman is the only target for my artillery back here. So, let's do it like this. Then I can fire at the other one and finish him off with my Gatling gun. Or There we go, he's dead. Nice. So, I already got rid of two units. That's a good start. Now I can move in with my rifleman. It should be safe enough to move in. Alright, let's do it. So now he can't run away with his other rifleman. Since I blocked the way. Oh yeah, trading post is done. So, actually I could change a lot of my Tylas armies to get more gold. But do I want to? Hmm. Nah, I think I'll pass for now. So he can help with the railroad, I suppose. And 
I'll use some of these workers to repair these improvements. And the other one to start the railroad south to London. And one more artillery slacking behind. Right. I will definitely raise these two cities. If I get lucky enough, I might be able to get some technology. Or maybe even two technologies, we'll see. So anything else I can do on this turn? Not a lot. I can move up with my Gatling gun, but I can't actually attack anything. Alright then, let's move up. And the artillery. I could move it on the hill. That's safe enough and I will be in range of all of these units. Sounds good. And the general is in range of everything. Alright. So railroad to Nineveh. Let's do it. And this turn is done. I'm still a little bit confused why they changed their mind about attacking Nimrod. It was a bit strange. I was a little bit worried that I'm going to lose Nimrod for a moment. Yeah, what are they doing? I really have no idea what they're doing right now. But hey, I'm not complaining, I'm just confused what the AI is doing. So, last road section to get rid of. And caravan. Are there any quests for trade routes? No. With Quebec City, but that's a little bit too far. I'll just use this to get as much gold as possible then. Which is 12 gold per turn from Cusco. So these are not the best trade routes ever, but they are safe. No one can pillage any of these trade routes. And I have at least 4 cities that I can trade with. I could grab at least one more caravan. I'm only using 4 out of 6. So I could queue up a caravan in here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I got two caravans that will be available soon. Yes, this one. Because this one is adding production to Nineveh. So I can use that for money instead. Especially since I'm still losing 21 gold per turn. And he still didn't finish their marble. <laughs> Too bad for him. Good for me. So, let's see. I want to get rid of that rifleman. But I want to get as much experience as possible for my Gatling guns. This is a plain hex. No, this was a heal. Yeah, that was heal, whatever. I can do some damage anyway. And surround that knight a little bit. And then I can push Tarentum. Yeah, Tarentum looks like a good target, to be honest. So, attack that rifleman. And I guess I can focus fire the Gatling gun now. He came to the wrong neighborhood. Alright, so far so good. Help with the railroad. So this is more than enough to handle Romans. I could definitely use some more units though. I'm friendly with Hanoi, so I might get a unit from them. What are they specialized in anyway? Oh yeah, that's the Korean unique unit. I'm not allied with them, but I could possibly get allied with them in the future. But yeah, even at friendly, they will gift me some units. That will definitely help. I could use an extra unit right about now. Okay. Melbourne seeks a great admiral. Yeah, good for them. Speaking of Melbourne... Yeah, I want to grab that city because that's a mercantile city-state. And I think they have a luxury that I don't. Other than jewelry. No, they don't. Apparently not. What was the city with the extra luxury? Oh, that was Monaco with pearls, and I'm actually allied with them, okay. Alright, let's continue. I think I'll kill that knight, I don't want to lose my marble. Right, that was the last road section to pillage, actually it wasn't, yeah it was. So I think I'll just start building a railroad right away, because that takes three turns and the regular road also takes three turns. And I want to have a railroad to London. To add production and to be able to move my units around as fast as possible. I still want to get some archaeologists, but that's a lower priority at the moment. They will have to wait. I might get some in Nineveh, once I'm done with the public school and the caravan. 
I guess I'm, I can queue up one archaeologist right now. But caravan first. I want to use all of my trade routes. Okay, let's see. I can move one tile and then attack. And do the same with this artillery. So I can get rid of this rifleman. Down he goes. I need to remember that I'm at war with Vancouver. They are not exactly a threat, but they might pillage some of my improvements. I'm a little bit worried about that. But I guess it's not a big deal. Right, you can stay here and heal up. And same with this one. I don't want to risk too much. Actually, hold on. I can possibly get rid of this knight. Yes, I can. Like so. So, he can't pillage the marble. Not on his next turn anyway. I don't like all of these English units next to the border. She can't declare war on me just yet, but I need to send some reinforcements to London before the peace treaty expires. I could definitely use at least one artillery in there. I don't want to use the great general for a citadel because then I won't have a great general in London for the combat bonus. And seeing how I'm at war with Romans, I need to keep one great general here as well. Where do you think you're going? Alright, so far so good. Also, I think I'm going to get another great Santis sometime soon. What? Whatever, yes, you have to deal with me in Pachacuti. Great artist in 9 and the great Santis in 11. Alright. That's interesting timing then. Yeah, now he pillaged my marble or did he? No, he didn't. Who pillaged what then? No one? I thought that was a pillaging sound, but apparently not. Alright then. So, get rid of that knight. Or I could target these units. Nah, I'll get rid of the knight. Continue the railroad. And this railroad is almost done. Okay. Now I need to finish railroad to Nimrod. To be able to move these units around as fast as possible. Is this railroad section done? Yeah, it is. So you go here. Oh, he's coming with some more cannons. Okay. Nice try, but not quite good enough. That cannon will go down. He'll probably get away, but whatever. Extra experience for me. I need to be careful about my unit health. Oh, nice. Another promotion. So I could grab Medic. Yeah, Medic seems like an obvious choice in this situation. The unfortunate part is that I only have one melee unit in this area, so I need to keep that rifleman alive. Without that rifleman, I won't actually be able to take Tarentum. Unless I bring this other rifleman from London, but I want to keep him in London. Right. Now I can start pushing Tarentum, I guess. Nimrod is safe, so let's do it. And you can go here. So this was easier than expected. I was really a little bit worried about Nimrod when I saw all of these units on the first turn he declared war on. Monaco? No, I'm not going to lose influence with Monaco. I'm totally going to end up at war with London, uh, with England. They will want to take London, that's kind of obvious. Five more turns until it's out of resistance. I will probably build city walls first. I don't even have city walls around London. The nice thing is London does have a lot of combat strength and it does have the red fort. This is 68 without city walls. Oh, and there is a manufactory over here. I didn't actually notice that. So that's awesome. That's going to help a lot. Right, repair this. And back to the front lines. Now I can target Vancouver's units. How are my spies doing? 40% chance of success in Melbourne. And yeah, 7% chance in Yerevan. I guess I'll have to wait 16 turns. It's kind of tempting to try this. But if I do it, I'm going to lose all of my influence. So that means I will lose happiness because I'm getting some happiness from Melbourne right now. What if I spend some money? 41. Huh. I could spend some money and get allied with Melbourne. 
But I'm still losing 22 gold per turn. I think I'll just wait for now. Right, I'm going to wait for now. And heal up on these guys. Continue the railroad. And now I can set up to start attacking Tarentum soon. That will take two turns at least, from the looks of it. But I have three artillery units, so this is more than enough firepower. I can get rid of this guy. Down he goes. I still need some more experience on my Gatling guns. I want to get plus one range on all of my Gatling guns, preferably. They only need one more promotion. Right, I'm thinking about what to do with this worker. I have enough workers here. I can just continue with the railroad to the east to connect Tenochtitlan. Sounds good. Alright, let's continue. So it's funny, they didn't even pillage my marble. Which is kind of ironic. But hey, I'm not complaining. That means I'm only at minus one happiness. As opposed to minus five. Oh, did he just build walls around Tarentum? I think he did. Pretty sure they weren't there before. Right, finish the railroad here. And, oh yeah, at Bright. I forgot I'm at war with Vancouver. This is already repaired. Right, so I'm going to push Vancouver right now. It would be nice getting one more melee unit. This rifleman is my only melee unit right now. Which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, other than recruiting some more units, I can't do much about that. Or counting on Hanoi gifting me a melee unit. But that seems unlikely. That's wishful thinking, basically. Okay, let's set up. So, three artillery units should be more than enough firepower. I'm kind of thinking about sending one artillery back to London, just to have some extra defenses. But I'll keep it here, to help with Tarentum for now. I still have at least five more turns before the peace treaty expires. And... England might not declare war on me right away. I kind of hope they won't. But the railroad should be finished by the time the peace treaty expires, so I will be able to move my units around very quickly. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I will start bombarding Tarentum on the next turn. And my caravan. Actually, what I could do with the caravan it's... Is there workshop here? No. What? There's no workshop in here? I don't see a workshop here. Am I blind or what? Oh no, there's workshop here, right. I forgot workshop has a specialist slot. Anyway, I think I'm going to add production to my capital. To speed up the water construction a little bit. Yeah. I, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I should stop building these railroads, because I'm paying extra maintenance for them. But I don't want to get the production boost. Yeah, I'll continue the railroads. I should get a lot of extra money once London is out of resistance and once I connect it with the road. Because right now London is generating zero everything. Is there a bank in here? No? Not even a market? Okay. But there is a zoo inside. That's nice. And circles. And stoneworks. Awesome. And harbor. Nice. So there are a lot of buildings in here. That will save me a lot of time. But that's the nice thing about taking developed cities from the AI on DT. You usually end up with a lot of buildings inside. Alright, now I can go on the offensive. So that's what I'm going to do. He's about to have a bad time. Tarentum will fall. It does have 55 combat strength, but with 3 artillery units and 2 of them having volley upgrade, I have more than enough firepower. Oh, you want to give me a worker? How nice of you, but I don't really need extra workers, to be honest. Yeah, these units are a little bit irritating. Right. So, the railroad is almost done. I need 2 more sections only, yep. And this one is almost done as well. Nice. Well, I guess I'm going to take that worker. I can just disband him on the next turn or whatever. Alright, let's start attacking Tarentum. This shouldn't take too long, as I said, and it, it will give me some nice experience. 
However, I'm going to continue this in the next part. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.